Hey everybody, Taylor Downs here from Open Function. Uh, I want to show you how I've set up a quick set of integrations that connect Kobo Toolbox, MongoDB, and DHIS2. Um, now these three tools are really widely used uh, in the ICT4D community. Um, and here we're going to have some mobile data capture happening on Kobo. Uh, we're going to be loading uh, entities and fetching events from DHIS2, um, and we're going to be sending everything to a data warehouse built on MongoDB. Um, and I like this one because it shows off how a single event, the submission of a Kobo form, for example, can trigger uh, multiple jobs on, on Open Function. So first, uh, let's head over to Kobo and make sure we're connected to our inbox. Um, so if I click into the inbox and copy the URL for this particular project, um, you'll remember in Kobo, you have to click on your form, click on settings, and head over to REST services. Uh, and when you select to register a new REST service, you can paste the, uh, the endpoint URL in there. Now, we don't have any uh, authentication set up on this URL right now because uh, it's a demo. Um, so I won't show you the, the UUID, the token, um, because I don't want to get spammed in my OpenFN inbox. Uh, but uh, you would paste it in right here uh, and click Create. Then uh, let's enter a little bit of uh, information um, in, our, uh, in our Kobo web form. We can say the registration date is today, the surname is, uh, uh, is test, um, the beneficiary age is 23, uh, and they're in the food assistance program. Um, this is using Enketo forms. I'm not actually going to fill out the GPS data right now. But if I hit submit, your data was successful. We should see that actually show up in Open Function. There it is. Cool. Okay, so 8.40 a.m. We've just received a message in OpenFN, and actually two different runs were triggered, and they were both successful. Um, so the first one was uh, sending that Kobo data to DHIS2, uh, and it's creating a tracked entity instance in DHIS2. And that succeeded. We got our 200 back, and you can see we have access to all of the logs from DHIS2. Um, but the important bit here is the, uh, the 200 OK. Now, if we go back to activity history, um, we can see that at the same time, we inserted a new document into a particular collection in MongoDB. Now, uh, we want to see that information test has shown up in MongoDB. If we head over to MongoDB, uh, and load our documents, scroll down to the bottom, we'll see that sure enough, a 23-year-old information test is now loaded into our data warehouse in a particular collection. Um, and this is a really common pattern. You'll see uh, organizations will need to make a series of point-to-point -point connections ODK to Salesforce or uh, ComCare to uh, OpenMRS. But while they're performing certain transformations on their data and, and enabling these real-time connections, they'll also branch off and load every transaction, every piece of information running through their systems into a data warehouse. And a lot of people use NoSQL solutions uh, like MongoDB for their data warehousing. Uh, Data warehousing can be daunting, but please don't hesitate to reach out if you want to talk about it. Uh, it is a service that we provide because it comes up so often in our implementations. So th the next thing we're going to do is not real time. This instead is, uh, is based on a timer. So you'll see that the third series here, uh, events from DHIS2 and events to Mongo. So that's a two-step flow and it's initiated by the passage of a timer. So every 8,600 seconds, we will fetch data from DHIS2, and we're only going to get information from this events table in DHIS2 um, that has been updated in the last 24 hours. So every time this runs, we're just pulling data from the last 24 hours. Uh, and we could wait until the next time it runs, um, but instead I'll, I'll just run it manually. Uh, so if we head over to activity history, we see it's just run and succeeded, and then immediately after uh, this events to Mongo job was triggered 
by the successful completion of the fetch events from DHIS2 job. Um, and if we check that out, we'll see, yeah, sure enough. So this is a successful run, uh, but it didn't actually load anything into the collection um, because uh, we did not receive any new events from DHIS2. So that's the setup. Um, please uh, don't hesitate to, to reach out uh, if you want to talk about Kobo or Mongo or data warehouses uh, or DHIS2. Um, you'll see that this client is actually now connected uh, yet another data source. Um, they're, uh, they're receiving submissions from ONA, um, ONA data. Uh, there are a ton out there, and we can work with all of them. Um, yeah, so, uh, so have a wonderful day, and happy integrating.